Downton Abbey is back for a 2022 movie. We're going to just do a real quick recap of the 2019 movie here right now. And we also have a quick five minute recap of the show that I'll link to below if you haven't seen it recently, if you haven't seen it at all, or if you just want to get caught back up before the movie. So in the 2019 movie, which was really made for the fans, uh, Cora and Robert Crowley, the head of the household, just running things as their usual fabulous selves. Uh, Mary and Henry, Mary and Tom are actually running the estate now. Um, the actor who plays Henry got so popular around this time that he just has a quick cameo in the movie and he doesn't seem to be in the 2022 movie at all. But Mary and Tom kick butt. Mary has the sweetest moment with her grandmother where Violet says, you are the best of me. And it's just ah, heart-wrenching and beautiful and wonderful. Um, Tom Branson thinks he's being tailed for being a um, Irish Republican, but he actually saves the day. Um, and not only has a new love interest that might be related to the estate, but he also helps the king and queen and their family too, in multiple ways. It's amazing. Um, Edith and her new husband, Bertie, are happy, but have a little bit of an issue with um, him uh, being requested by the king to go off on this adventure, right as Edith is due to have their first child. Um, but they get it taken care of. Isabel and Violet are their usual sparring, fabulous selves, love them. They're my favorite of the upstairs family. They're just fabulous. And um, Violet just has some real great moments in this movie. Um, Carson puts back on his livery. Um, Carson and Elsie are at it again, running the house. Just uh, they're wonderful selves. And of course, she's got some, some quip, quippy notes for him. Thomas has some great moments in this movie. He's had such a rough time in the series and it's just nice to see him happy for the most part in this uh, in this movie. He gets beat out by Carson and Carson comes back, of course, to help the king and queen while they're at Downton. And Thomas isn't too thrilled with that, but he still ends up having a good time. Um, Daisy and Miss Patmore have a fabulous storyline. Daisy has always been like P Miss Patmore's daughter and she's trying to encourage her to um, you know, plan her wedding with Andy. And finally, by the end of the movie, she starts to plan her wedding and she's excited about marrying Andy. Um, and then finally, Anna and Bates, y'all. Finally, 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 Anna and Bates are just happy. They're just happy. And we're so happy that they're happy um, and that they've got a kid and they're just happy together and it's beautiful. And not only that, but of course, they came up with a plan that saves the day for the Downton staff to be able to take over the royal staff and to be able to serve the king and queen at Downton. And of course, the king and queen co coming to Downton causes a whole fuss, chairs being put out in the rain, Everything is a miss and a mess for, for a little while, but of course it all works out. Um, it should, this was really a love letter to the fans, just to kind of wrap out the series. It was beautiful, and I'm so excited that they're back with another movie and can't wait to see a new era and what's going to happen in this new 2022 Downton movie. Like I said, we have a, a quick five-minute recap of the series that I will link and we will be reviewing the 2022 movie soon. So excited. If you're a Downton fan, if you're not a Downton fan, you can enjoy the series. There's plenty of fun um, to be had whether or not you've watched the series from the beginning or you're new and just going for a girl's day to watch this movie. Um, it's fun. It's fabulous. Can't wait to see the 2022 edition.